Hello friends, welcome to the one short revision series by LearnZilla. In today's learning session, we are covering all the important terms from the chapter circulatory system. This chapter is very important for class 10 ICSA biology exams. Students who are preparing for that have to focus on learning the terms with, keywo uh, with keywords. So let's quickly revise all the important terms. RBC or the red blood cells are called as erythrocytes. Erythro means red, cytes means cells. So red blood cells are called as erythrocytes. WBC the white blood cells are called as leukocytes and platelets are called as thrombocytes. The next important term is blood pressure. The pressure exerted on the elastic walls of the arteries by the blood while flowing in the arteries is called as blood pressure. It is greater during systole that is contraction and rather than the diastole which is relaxation of the heart. So in a normal adult the blood pressure is 120 by 80 where systolic is 120 and diastolic pressure is 80 mm of Hg that is mercury. Pulse rate indicates the rate at which the heart beats. Each heartbeat results from the contraction which is the systole and relaxation that is the diastole of the heart. On an average the systole and diastole takes 0 0.8 seconds which is the cardiac cycle. Together it makes around 72 heartbeats per minute. Double circulation is a very important term in mammals it is observed. The heart produces two separate circulations, the pulmonary to the lungs and systemic to the rest of the body. These two separate circulations are jointly called as double circulation. From the right ventricle, deoxygenated blood goes to the lungs for oxygenation and comes back to the left auricle through pulmonary vein. This is known as pulmonary circulation, pulmonary for lungs. Distribution of oxygenated blood from left ventricle to different parts of the body and back to the heart as deoxygenated blood is known as systemic circulation. In this uh, revision series, we are just emphasizing the keywords to define the term. If you want to learn about double circulation in detail, please check the playlist for a detailed video on uh, the function of the heart in the circulatory system. Hepatic portal system is the system of veins carrying blood capillaries of intestine to the liver in mammals. The blood from the intestine carries digested carbohydrates and proteins that is glucose and amino acids to the liver where they are converted into glycogen and urea respectively. Glucose is converted into glycogen and amino acids are converted into the urea. Diapedesis is the passage of white blood corpuscles or WBCs through the unruptured walls of the blood vessels. It helps in engulfing the germs and also protects the body from getting infected. Hematopoiesis is the formation of blood corpuscles like WBC and RBC by the bone marrow and lymph nodes. Bone marrow and lymph nodes are called as hematopoietic tissues. Phagocytosis is a process by which certain cells like WBCs engulf the damaged tissues, bacteria and germs and ingest them that is eats away. ECG stands for electrocardiogram. It is the recorded report of an electrocardiograph which is produced by the heart muscles during the cardiac cycle of contraction and relaxation that is systole and diastole. Pacemaker is the specialized tissue present on the wall of the right auricle which controls the movement of the heart muscles. It sets the rhythm for the uh, pace in which the heart beats. The natural pacemaker of the heart is SAN sinoatrial node. I hope this video would have been useful for a quick revision. If you 
लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज़ हिट द लाइक बटन एंड ऑल्सो शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स फॉर होम यू थिंक इट कुड बी यूजफुल एंड प्लीज़ डू सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल फॉर मोर सच यूजफुल लर्निंग कंटेंट यू कैन डाउनलोड द रिसोर्स फ्राम आवर वेबसाइट लर्न जिला डॉट इन एंड ऑल्सो फॉलो आवर इंस्टाग्राम पेज लर्न जिला फॉर डेली अपडेट्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग चिल्ड्रेन 